Hey everybody, Rick Dean of Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club on Thursday, August the 9th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California race of the day. Take a look at race 3 this afternoon, folks. 3 p.m. Pacific post time. It's a mile test on the cushion track. Three year olds and up race for a claiming prize of some $40,000. Contenders number 3, Atchak. Number 6, Falling Knife. Number two, Donato, and number one, McAllister's Boys. Number three, Atchak, a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony qualifier, takes a nine-level class drop, is the overall speed leader in this claiming field. Racing at today's distance of a mile on the cushion dirt has produced power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in three of those outings, facing better company in each of those races than he'll face in this field this afternoon. Number six, Falling Knife, a four-to-one shot, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of his last four. Winning in both the second and fourth races back, which is, of course, indicative, folks, of a bounce pattern. The bounce will be up positive this afternoon if this pattern continues. Race number three summary, number three at check, tops the contenders list today, which also includes number six, Falling Knife, number two, Donato, and number one, McAllister Boys. That's three, six, two, one in the third today from Del Mar. Bonus long shots, let's go to Charlestown in West Virginia, race 9 to 10 to 1 bomb, number 12, Tropical Palm Love. Takes a huge class drop of some 37 Trackmaster units. Decent overall speed for this 4.5 for a long sprint. Presque Isle Downs, race 2, the 8 to 1 shot, number 4, Hay Woods, the overall speed leader in this allowance field, sprinting at 6 furlongs on Presque Isle's cushion dirt track. So from Del Mar on a Thursday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.